Привет, дорогие друзья! Сегодня мне хотелось бы с вами начать рассмотрение того, как мы могли бы давать ответы или же отвечать на вопросы, которые нам задают экзаменаторы на тестах Backvantage или же Back High. Я также думаю, что в принципе то, что мы будем с вами рассматривать и те примеры, которые буду предлагать, будут, возможно, полезны и тем людям, которые готовятся к IELTS, TOEFL или же к экзамену CAE ну и так далее. Потому что у них, в принципе, приблизительно такие же или же схожие принципы, критерии оценивания ответов. Ну и поскольку вы наверняка те люди, которые уже обладают уровнем английского языка больше, чем средний, поэтому переходим на английский. Окей? Okay? So, um, very first thing. Okay? Something that I would like to say before we go into any kind of details. Number one. What I'm going to tell you now, it is very, very, very subjective. Okay? So I'm not saying about the examples, which are, you know, just uh, universally accepted. And uh, they are not, um, you know, absolutely correct answers or the only answers that we could give. Okay? Uh, what I'm going to, t uh, to give you is useful, is good and acceptable, something that uh, the examiners would consider as good answers, but on the whole I would like to say that this is um, something that I have built on my personal experience, something that I've learned throughout the years and uh, something that I've seen as the examiners, um, you know, assess and uh, uh, what they do, what is really acceptable, what is not acceptable and so on, all right? So this is the first thing. Secondly, uh, what I believe is important in this kind of um, tasks, number one, we only need to answer the question. We can't really get any further within this topic of discussion. Even if we think that this uh, material is very useful, very interesting, something really exciting, but it doesn't, if it doesn't help us answer the question, then ignore it, all right? We only need to give a very clear and solid answer to the question that is given. So, we need to show that we understood the question exactly how it was, and we give the answer to this question as it suggests. If it is a general question, we need to give a general answer. If it is a specific, concrete question, we correspondingly need to give a specific, concrete and uh, quite, uh, you know, uh, exact answer to this question. Then, it needs to be very well structured. We have the beginning, some kind of like an introduction, then the points 1, 2, 3, okay, we don't really say exactly like 1, 2, 3, but it should be felt as though we are going in a certain kind of sequence. And, of course, the conclusion, all right? So, now, um, let's take um, a question. And uh, I'm going to uh, give you just a very brief overview of this uh, approach, how we handle it, okay? In the following videos, I'll be just giving you the examples, okay? Uh, but just one more time, it is like an example, something that could be useful for you in your preparation, but not necessarily the only possible answer, okay? Okay, let's take um, a question. Um, how to advertise a new product effectively, all right? We usually have one minute to get ready. So within this one minute, what we need to do, we need to take this time as in the best way, in the best possible way, all right? So we're not wasting it, just, you know, just thinking, okay, I know what I will be saying at the beginning, and then just waiting uh, until this uh, minute finishes. No, we need to generate points, we need to generate ideas, okay? So we need to clearly understand what we are supposed to answer, all right, and in what procedure, in what sequence I will be uh, dealing and handling this question. So, for example, <clears throat> um, how to advertise a new product effectively? We say, hmm, um, in my opinion, I believe that um, there are different ways and possibly numerous different approaches how to advertise a new product effectively. Um, however, as uh, far as I understand and from where I stand, I believe that a company needs to concentrate on a number of key issues. First of all, this company needs to 
understand clearly how this new product is different from any other products on the market and uh, what are its unique selling points. What is so special about this product that it would make the product attractive for the target audience? Secondly, the company needs to understand um, their potential buyers. Who are these people? What these people like? Um, what um, salary they have? What is the average uh, social class? And what do they do? What they like and what they dislike? And uh, what kind of products they uh, have been using already? And uh, after that, they need to understand how this product will be most effectively uh, targeting this audience in the way that the final buyer would receive it, would accept it and would believe the message. What is the best advertising channel? Or what uh, could be the most efficient and uh, most uh, um, you know, productive message? And um, how to utilize it? Having decided on the unique selling points of the product, um, having identified our potential buyer and the channel and the way of advertising, then we can just allocate the budget and really implement this overall project into practice. So, this is how a company can advertise or may advertise a new product effectively. All right. So, what we've seen in here? Uh, we've seen that we are making um, some kind of like a discussion. We are talking as though we are addressing this message to people, not just only to the examiner who is in front of us. All right. It's very important to keep always in mind, and I see this, um, um, you know, while I'm working with the students here. Um, I see that for some students it's quite difficult to keep to the point. So when they start talking about one point in their discussion, then they slightly get astray, they get sidetracked and digress from the main message, right? We shouldn't really do this, okay? So we stick to the point, we always keep in mind what we need to um, deliver, what we need to say, and if the question is how, then we just explain how we do this. And each point, each transition from one section to another uh, needs to help us explain the main message, right? our main position, what we really believe is true in this regard. Okay. And, uh, of course, I'm, I'm not really going to rewrite this video and I'm not going to redo it. Why? Because um, it should be natural. It should be with this kind of maybe minor mistakes or maybe sometimes we repeat some of the ideas and so on. Because it needs to be the way as we communicate and speak, alright? So, I uh, wish you good luck, alright? And I hope that it will be helpful to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them just below this video, alright? Okay, take care.